Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Seems like a long time since I've done a tutorial. I mean, even just setting this stuff up, I'm like, it feels like it's been a while since all of this happened. But to be honest with you, I have a lot going on with my business right now and a lot going on in my private life. You guys know Marv. He's my cat. That's the main Coon. He's been very sick. I had to rush him to the kitty ER. Basically, thousands of dollars later, I still don't have definitive answers as to what is going on with him. Caught him laying in a litter box, and that is never good. He was just breathing really fast and purring. You hear that a cat is purring, you think that's good news, but cats can also purr, make the purring sound where when they're stressed or in distress. And he was definitely in distress. His lungs were completely filled with fluid. I rushed him up to, I literally rolled out of my bed and rushed him up to the vet. I'm sure I looked lovely, but uh, that doesn't matter. I had to rush him to another vet, like an emergency hospital, basically. And it was just, I, I just don't know how he's going to be. So please say some prayers for Marv that he's quickly restored to good health. I have to keep myself busy. My girlfriend's watching him right now. So let's go ahead and do a tutorial. It seems like every video that I make in the comment section, there's at least two or three requests for future videos, which is really good because this means I'm not going to run out of ideas and I'm glad that you guys are engaging with me in the comment section. So one of the requests that I gotten was how to do an animated title. I'm sure you know how to do animated titles. There's been a lot of videos on that. Rob has done some videos on that. Uh, there's been other channels doing videos on that. But this request was not only how to do it, but how to save it so that you can use that same template in a future video if you want to edit the words. I think that's a great request. So we are going to go ahead and jump into that now. I'm going to do a very simple and basic animated title because the focus of this is how we can save it and get it back into LumaFusion for future videos. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. I am going to add a title and we're just going to hit the plus sign on the bottom toolbar, hit main title, stretch that out a little bit. I'm going to double tap on that so that we can edit that. Going to hit that, tap on that and hit the little keyboard sign where we can edit it. And I'm going to type in gear reviews. I am going to choose the fonts I'm really liking the Avenir font. And the way that the fonts are displayed in LumaFusion now is they come up how it would basically in a computer. And I'm going to choose Avenir. So whenever you see this little arrow here, you know there's going to be a drop down menu with additional choices for that particular font. So I am going to choose like a medium italicized version of that. And that looks pretty good to me. Make it a little smaller. I'm going to pull back the opacity a little bit. I think that looks good. So what I'm envisioning for this simple project is to just have a bar in the screen, swoop across the screen, and reveal the word gear review. So I am going to need to get the bar in the screen. So let's go ahead and add the plus symbol again. And I'm going to choose overlay title. And that's going to drop another title right on top of that title. I'm going to double tap on that to get to the edit window. Make sure I'm right to the very beginning. And now that I'm not going to use a text, I'm just immediately going to throw this away. Hit the plus symbol and I am going to choose shape. And I am going to choose the three pixel line. And I am going to rotate this. So let's go down to rotation and rotate this 90 degrees. And now I'm going to make this smaller. So I am going to make it smaller in the scale smaller. But once I reach the thickness that I want it to be, now I'm going to make it smaller on the X scale. And let's go to frame and fit. And now we're going to go to cropping. So we are going to crop this in from the right, right there. And right there, we are going to drop our very first keyframe that is going to lock gear reviews completely out of sight. So let's go ahead and begin to advance this line. And now what I want to do is just follow this line completely perfect, frame by frame. 
The more meticulous you are this very first go around, you'll never have to mess with it again. Get it perfect the first time and you're done. Frame by frame, just take your time the very first go around and you'll never have to worry about it again. Okay, that looks really cool. And being that it's not really about this animated title, what I'm going to do is just swoop across the screen and clear it out again. So let's go back to frame and fit, size and position. So right here, I'm going to drop an additional keyframe and I'm going to advance another second and a half. So we're at about three seconds right now. So I'm gonna to go to 4.12 or 14 is fine. And now once again, I'm going to drag this off the end of the screen is double tap on gear reviews, frame and fit, because now we are going to advance this cropping as well. So let's, of course, drop another keyframe right here and advance it a frame, a frame, until that starts moving. And same thing here, we're just going to follow this line all the way back off the end of the screen. Okay, let's have a look. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is export this and save it and bring it back in so that we can use it for future videos. And now we are going to hit the share button right at the bottom of the screen on the right hand side, the share button. And we are going to hit LumaFusion project package. And I am going to choose files this is what you're going to choose if you're utilizing your iCloud, and that's what I always do, so I hit Files. And now I'm going to hit the Share button one more time. Here's where you want to input your title. Make sure that you title this particular project as something that you're going to remember. And hit the Share button one last time, and now it's going to bring up your iCloud. So I am going to save this to my gear channel and hit Save. Okay, so now let's go to my iCloud where I stored this, the blue folder, and now I'm going to iCloud, gear channel, and that's where I've stored it. So when you save these to your iCloud, when you open up the file, it's going to be saved as a zip formatted file. So all you have to do to bring this back into LumaFusion is just tap that zip file and it's automatically going to launch into LumaFusion and it's going to put that into your project manager as a saved folder. So let's go ahead and go to the project manager. I'll hit the plus sign at the bottom left hand side of the screen brings up the project manager. So here we go, animated title set. So here's the one, that's the one that we just created and worked on and being that I re-imported it, you can see that it's a duplicate copy. Okay, so now to use this for a future video, all I have to do is double tap on the title, which now says gear reviews. But let's say that in a future video, I want it to say tutorials. All you have to do is go into that, let me go back. All we have to do is double tap on the title line. And right here, we're just gonna double tap on that and go right to where we can edit that and now I'm just going to type in tutorials, get rid of the keyboard, hit the back arrow out, and it's done. Perfect. So if I wanna use this now in a new video, now I have to export this as a saved file. So you, again, would go to the share button, but instead of saving it as a LumaFusion project package, now you're going to save it as a movie. So that when you bring it in, let me just go ahead and do it. And now again, I'm going to save it under files and I am going to put this at the highest export 4K, that looks good. And I'm going to again, save this to my iCloud drive. 
Now let's go ahead and bring that back. I just double tap on that, hit the share button, and we're going to put open in LumaFusion, and that is going to launch LumaFusion. Now just using some random video that I, I put together, let's say that I want to drop that title into the middle of this particular video. So all I need to do is grab the animated title and bring it down and drop it right in there. And here we go. This is going to save you a lot of time if you wind up using these animated titles a lot. You don't have to recreate it over and over and over again. Just do it one time, export it into your iCloud, bring it back in, and you can always just edit it any way that you want. But let's say that you don't want to use this as a black background. You want it to be on your screen. Well, now that we have the blending modes, we absolutely can do that. So we just want to drop that right on top of the video, go into frame and fit, go to blending modes, and just go to screen. And the screen option is going to allow you to see everything You're just going to see the title. Perfect. And we're done. I hope this little workaround is helpful to you and can save you a lot of time. I know someone that's been doing this from scratch every single video. That takes up a lot of time. So I hope this was very helpful to you. I thank you for requesting the video. I like to get requests. This way I have video ideas, what I can do. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have a very long list of requests, but if you'd like to add to it, if you guys have something that you're in need of that you want to see, please leave it in the comment section below. I do get a lot of requests for audio, how to tweak your audio in LumaFusion, so maybe that will be the next video. I thank you so much for joining me. If you have a moment, if you wouldn't mind just saying a quick prayer for Marv that he's quickly restored to health, I would so greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and until next time, wear your sunblock.